Hello everyone on YouTube. I'm here in New York City in the um, in the village area. And today I'm gonna show you a good good arcade bar which is the two bits retro arcade. This is kinda like the barcades in um, Jersey City, Brooklyn, and Philadelphia. Only this is a little more more different. Not only has it has old school games, but also has a couple of new school games here and there. So I'm gonna show you the video, show you the place and tell you what it is about. Sorry if I have something a little wet. As you can see, pretty small room, yes, but impressive nonetheless. Let's just get started, shall we? We got here a little foosball table. A little classic, of course. And here's a good game called Afterburner. The first Afterburner. Flight to Mirror slash shooter. This is what before the before the other um, afterburner, the, the new school one. It's pretty cool. And over here's the uh, classic maximum force. From the guys who did Area 51. Then we got Cruising World with a screen looks that looks a little uh, darker than than I previous intended, but it still works. Fun. Then we have here Hydro Thunder, one of the airport rides for the H2 Overdrive. You know, like the class 3D type things before they went on with the rest. Now, this is interesting. Uh, this is here, it's kind of new. It's called Bunk Big Buck HD from uh, Ross Reels. So this is a pretty interesting game. Game if you're a deer or hunting expert here and there. I'm not much of a big fan, but I guess some people like to go and you know, shoot them up here and there whenever they feel like it. Now this is interesting. This here is called Captain America and the Avengers. This is Basically, it's like. Basically, it's like one of those types of Ninja Turtle scroll fighting games. You pick your character, you pick your. You go around, you beat up bad guys here and there. Pretty, pretty impressive. This is way before the Avengers movie, so. Well, whatever the case, it's really good once, once you get the hang of it. Good recommendation. Now this is the cocktail version of Popeye, along with two seats. I don't think use this for dining on a lot of because you have a big video game in the way. But in the case, I just have the good cocktails. We got the bartending area over here, and, and of course they have this unique um, gift card bar top one right here. The artwork. Now we give you a couple of uh, pinball, pinball areas, some machines. Of course, ain't no pinball place without a fun house. Always love a fun house game. And then we have Adam's family. Another good pinball classic. And now we have the Indiana Jones printing machine, which has apparently all of the um, <clears throat> Indiana Jones movies. The one I did in the, in the Pinball Museum in Asbury Park had like Indiana Jones too, but that, but that didn't have the uh, fourth movie installed. But other than, other than that, this is kind of a new pinball machine they have added, which is new, new, not like classic new. Whatever. And look at this. <laughs> we have we have two of the of the uh, only pinball machines that have like a video screen on it. Of course, here's Star Wars Episode One, kind of like one in Game Town in um, Derek Sutherland, but uh, at least this one's working. 
And why, why not? Revenge of Mars in 3D. Let's try they even got two of those pinball machines. I've always thought that they were really hard to find now, being that it's all uh, <clears throat> very, very scarce. But whatever. Now here's a really good one called uh, Junkyard. Junkyard's kind of like a junkyard type pinball, but you have to. The, the job of the game is to escape. Pretty dark from, from if you could, can't see it, but that's really good. And then we got the Twilight Zone. Always love that pinball cool machine. And why not? Beautiful the magic pinball cool machine. Really good collection of pinball machines. Wish I had, they had stuff like that. And now, we go on to more arcades. We got here Maui Midway Spy Hunter. Really like playing that game. Then we got here Donkey Kong. More good classics. We have Frogger. Oh, and I like this one, Atari Star Wars. They had a cocktail version in the uh, arcade in Jersey City. This is the um, stand-up kind. I like the stand-up kind. It always it makes you feel, feel comfortable. I really like the um, vertical graphics on this thing. Really good. Now we have Tetris. Another good arcade game. I always like these cars to puzzle games no matter what. Then we have here Kung Fu Hero. Which I think they had another name for. But anyway, it's mostly a scrolling, fighting thing where you can beat up the bad guys. It's a really good game, actually. What if they got the, the idea from um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Now we have Final Fight. Is that like a scrolling fighting game or is it just fighting? I think it's kind of both, depending. And then we got the Champion Street Fighter 2 edition. Or Street Fighter 2 Championship edition. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not much into all fighting fighter games, but um, <clears throat> at least I know how good. Good they well Street Fighter is. And then we got the classic Marvel vs. Capcom. Always like Marvel vs. Capcom. Very good team up to see on there, no matter which type you use. And of course, another good favorite of mine, Namco's Kill Crisis Zone. Really love this game. Like, oh, very enjoyable to play. <laughs> Next to that is a police trainer. Like mostly targeting shooter for police people. It's really good. I think there's a lot in the uh, Baller City. And we got Pac-Man, which oddly enough has like a dick dog game in it. Huh. I don't know why. It looks like some multi-cade. Yeah, there it is. Namco's Classic Collection. Fine, too. Huh. That's so weird. I guess you have to select the different, different games no matter which one. Pretty cool. I didn't expect that. Then we got Nintendo's Punch Out, the two screen fighter. And 
whatever you have here, Paperboy. I used to like this game a lot. The problem is I never get past the construction area. You wanna buy the game? Whatever. What's unique? We got Arkanoid. Another good game I play for Taito. I always like the like the uh, bounces. Very amusing. Then we got Turbo Sprint. Oh, that's really good. Here's a racing game. And why not top it all off with a Namco, Miss Packer, and Gallagher training of the Union Cabinet? Can't have, have arcade without this, this baby. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the for all the games. I gotta admit, all this looks pretty nice. Not like the barcade stuff, but. Very amusing once you get the hang of it. So yeah, I tried to record this any here before anyways, until but unfortunately I couldn't since uh, it was an Easter weekend here. It's pretty much packed on that time. Other than that, I say this is enjoyable. Come see for yourself. Google Two Bit Arcade and you find your ad address. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Stay tuned for our videos and I'll see you next time.